Namaste guys, so someone on my YouTube channel asked me, hey, can you do rack and pinion simulation in SOLIDWORKS? So basically, I'm going to make video on this. Uh, so I hope you are going to like it. So let's see what's the problem. So basically, I have a rack and pinion as you can see. Okay, just in case if anybody want to learn how to make rack and pinion and do this mechanism, check out my link in description. I've already created a tutorial on it, so I'm not going to teach how to make it. Okay, so first thing we have to do is go to SOLIDWORKS add-in and click on SOLIDWORKS simulation. After that, wait for a second and you will see a simulation tab. Click on it. Now go here and click on new study. Select the simulation as per a requirement. In my case, I am doing a static simulation. Click OK. First thing that I have to do is, I have to define what is the material of my part. For the sake of simplicity of the tutorial, I am going to apply same material that is plain carbon steel on both gears. Okay. After that, it is asking for the connection. First thing that you have to do, do is, right click on it and delete this connection. Now we are going to define our own component uh, connection. So let's see how to do it. Uh, before I define connection, let's uh, apply the fixtures. So a question is how I define fixture here. I mean, which part will going to fix and which part is not. So let's try to understand. So right click on it and go to advanced fixtures. Here you will see this one. Uh, for this gear, we are going to use on cylindrical faces. Okay, so you can see these three symbols. Okay, so you can see the meaning of these three symbols, what they are actually doing, and moments. So, in case of this one, uh, we are going to put zero. Uh, this one is also zero. This one is basically in radians. So, I want to rotate suppose five degrees. So, what I can do is in calculator so suppose i want to rotate it uh, 5 degree so 5 into 180 divided by 5 sorry not this one uh, wrong formula 5 into pi divided by 180 i assume you all know how to convert degrees into radians okay so i have entered the value of 0 0.0872 0.0872 872 yeah this one okay so what what i'm basically saying hey that this gear will rotate 0 0.0872 degree and the moment of this gear along y axis uh, this line is zero okay and along x axis it is also zero as you can see the meaning of this uh, these symbols here okay now click on okay okay it is asking select the entity i so select this face. Just you need to make sure when you select on cylindrical faces, you must select a cylindrical face. Okay. Now click OK. After that, another question. So what is the direction of this rack and pinion? Okay. So right click on it. Click on advanced fixture. So you can see this translation. Uh, so I am going to basically use this one. So above it is zero for this side I will allow a movement of 5 mm and for this I will allow a zero click OK select entity I need to select a face so make sure that I select this face because I am saying that this move uh, this uh, rack can't move upward, can't move this direction, it can only move in this direction. Okay, click OK. You select a reference plane in axis on cylindrical face. Okay, so it is asking for a plane uh, with which is we are talking about. So select on plane, make sure that whatever plane you are selecting it is parallel to this face. So I am seeing that right plane is correct plane, so click on it. Okay. Click OK. The reason I'm showing all this error is that so that you can understand what kind of error you will see while doing the simulation. Okay. Now next question that arises is connections. So right click on it and we will create our 
component interaction uh, contact global contraction select this part not, not this one only not this uh, so right click on it click on local interaction uh, automatically find contact select this one and select this one uh, the disadvantage of this one is, is that it will take a lot of time okay so but again you can use this one as well but for the sake of simplicity i am using this now last thing that is left is create a mesh and run this so you can simply adjust the mesh as per your requirement okay if i click ok so it will create the mesh will take some time though so here you can see my mesh is created now all I have to have is run the simulation just you know that I am more interested in gear animation so for better result I highly recommend increase the density of the mesh here so that you can get better results because this is what I am interested for stress for my teeth okay so I highly recommend increase the mesh density for the gears uh, for, to get better results okay so click on run the study you have not defined interaction condition you may not get undesirable results uh, would you like to run the study okay interaction condition is not defined right click on it i guess i doesn't start the connection properly for interaction like this sorry uh, right so right click on it local interaction Mm. one way you can do is automatically but I don't I think there is a problem here so I am going to do manual so you need to select the faces that you think that hey that they are going to interact with each other so select all the faces here that you think that are going to be interact I am using server simulation after a very long time so it takes me a while to figure out what I am doing so search for that these teeth will also going to interact go here now select the drag right gear here And click OK. As you can see, local connection is showing up here. Now click on Run the study. It will take a time, so you need to be patient. So this is how it looks like. So if I put the placement, show, stress, show. Uh, notice that it just look very careful thing that 
my gear has a stress maximum stress of 2.59 something and the lowest is that one so what does it mean and are we doing it correct or not so right click on it and click on a definition we will not add definition chart options I am looking for an option to see a stress at a particular range so that's what is I am looking for I so I think the solution is not correct. We have facing some issues. Okay, I think I know what's the error. So the thing is that my gear is rotating 5 degree and this rack is also moving 5, uh, 5 mm in this direction. So practically there is no stress on teeth because they are allowed to move it. If I the, apply the movement in opposite direction, then I will get some stress. So click on edit definition. Instead of 0 0.0872, just type minus here. Click OK. After that, click on run study. Now you see stresses are showing on my teeth okay the sole reason i'm showing mistakes because these are the mistakes done by the beginners and i don't want that you after watching my tutorial when you apply my knowledge you will say hey man i don't know this topic uh, i'm not getting this point i'm getting not getting the right results so i'm showing why are you getting those mistakes okay so make sure that you watch carefully now now suppose i want to see where are the maximum stress what i can do right click on it and click on section clipping uh, not section clipping iso clipping sorry right click iso clipping so you can see uh, above this uh, this uh, wherever you see this color is basically showing that hey i have a stress value of this one now a common question arise uh, one of my uh, videos somebody say hey man as you can see that your stress value is quite high it is higher than my material limit strength okay so it basically means that my gear will fail or break at this point but here it is showing stress now try to understand something solidworks is designed to show the stress it will not show you that it will break or destroy or crack okay it will just simply show you how much stress it will occur here okay that's the reason so this material will fail definitely fail uh, because of height load and it is not going to you know uh, sustain this load so as you can see it has a maximum yield strength of 2.2068 but it is going above above it plus 9 so this material is not going to strain it is going to be destroy itself because it is not able to handle this kind of load okay so solvers only can show you how much stress and strain uh, happening during simulation it is not going to tell you hey man it is going to crack like this it is going to be and destroy like this okay this is not uh, going to be shown in solvers for that i recommend use ansys software but even in ansys if you are want to pinpoint accuracy then you need a very high computation power laptop minimum 512 gb of ram etc for a very good results i think that i personally is uh, heard from my friends that what they told me that this is how, uh, to get the better results you need a very powerful PC, so don't expect here. But I'm just for teaching purposes, so this is for you know how you can calculate back and penis stress simulation. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day. And make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. And check out my solvers course, free solvers course, link in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.